up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys today we are on our class without walls account but we are doing some more pushing without walls guys um <clears throat> so obviously the trophy base that we made in the last episode is what i'm gonna keep um i might tweak it a little bit <clears throat> Ooh. we're gonna go ahead and start off this with an attack though so that hopefully we can have some troops train up by the end of it and then have another attack for you guys all right so we have got a giant raid um, ready to go. We're going to be looking for something with hopefully 30 trophies or more. Um, I'm not going to cut away because that should honestly only take like 12 seconds. <laughs> like this one. Uh, I don't think we can. We definitely can't three star that one though. Um, but I'm going to show you all some replays, some defense replays, some attack replays. And that's kind of how this series is going to look. It's going to be... Um, some raids that I've done. Hopefully we'll do live raids in all of them and then hopefully we'll have some successful defense replays to show you guys in all of them as well. Uh, so this one has 27 trophies available. That's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Well, he has his king. I don't want to deal with this king. Uh, we can probably find something a little bit better. I found a 31 uh, a 31 or earlier. We'll attack this one. 28 has 109,000 gold as well, which is really, really good. Um, we'll go ahead and drop off right here. We'll wait for that mortar to go down and drop off our clan castle, our clan castle, our wall breakers. We got to help get rid of these troops. So we're already in. Let's see if we can get our uh, wall breakers up in there for us. Come on. What are you guys doing? Attack the freaking clan castle troops, noobs. <laughs> All right. So our giants are getting up in there. I really, really wish that that wall breaker would have gone in a little bit further. There we go. Um, and we should just be able to work our way in here to the town hall and just crush it. We don't have that many giants left anymore because our troops felt like being in range of the clan castle troops but not attacking them. So we are going to get in here. Stop it. Go in towards the town hall. <laughs> there. Once they get rid of this wall right here, we'll be good to go. Uh, but none of them are attacking it. Why did they... Woo! That giant, man. He just switched walls. He switched walls on us. We've got a good amount of archers left. We're definitely going to get this town hall and get that two-star. Um, and I bet you the town, there's 50% right there. Um, and guys, these raids are going to look better as we level up, uh, obviously. Let's see if we can get this goal. That would be huge for us. Um, because I think the biggest thing for me right now when it comes to upgrading, if I'm going to be trophy pushing, is going to be upgrading the bombs and the other traps. Uh, if we can take out this cannon in this archer tower, we could three-star this thing. Uh, I think we might be able to. Come on, archers. Yes, we are going to... Nice, we're going to three-star. I wasn't sure at first if we were going to be able to because of how quickly the giants went down. But we are going to get all 28 of those trophies. Um, we... Oh, giant bomb. <laughs> we actually went up on defense as well. I'll show you all some of those replays also we'll go ahead and end that battle right there 109,000 gold guys that's not bad uh, I'm not really looking for loot right now obviously since I am trophy pushing so anytime that I find it it is uh, it is valued for sure uh, let's go ahead and get a whole bunch of barbarians up in here what if we did like barbarians and a couple wall breakers y'all think that would work well I feel like that might work well uh, let's oops, oops. let's do let's try that I want to see what would happen <laughs> so we're going to train up all barbarians and wall breakers. Um, oh wow, that's going to take a long time though. So those definitely aren't going to be ready uh, for the end of the video. But we will be able to, I'm going to go ahead and show you all some of these defense replays. So one person, when was that one? Oh, we got 27 trophies from the all archer raid. Let's watch this one. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, he uses a, oh no, I have seen this one. I have seen this one. He uses both of his lightning spells and a heal spell in this raid. Um, but let's watch this and try and analyze and see how we can do things a little bit better. I already tweaked some stuff about it um, after watching this earlier. So as I said earlier, the biggest part for me is going to be upgrading my traps uh, on this trophy push because I don't have walls. So I really, really need to... All my defenses are maxed right now, except for that art, that air defense once it's done. So my only line of defense uh, that's left over is my uh, bombs and my big bombs, all that kind of stuff. So you can see he's coming in from the left side of the base right here. 
Um, and what I decided to do that I'll show you when we back out is move some of my bombs out. I had a lot of my bombs around the town hall, but when you've ranged troops, that doesn't really matter. So uh, I put a whole bunch of bombs right there where, not a whole bunch, I just put a bomb <laughs> right there where the king and those barbarians are towards the bottom. Uh, he used that heal spell. That's a That was a very expensive raid for him. As, as y'all saw that last one, I didn't use any lightning spells or anything on that. Um, so he gets in here, and he actually is barely able to take out the town hall. If that mortar was focused on those archers over by the town hall, the story might have been a little bit different for us. But he does get the two star right there, which takes away our trophies. It just takes them away, guys. Oh, I went from a sad voice into a yawn. So he, he did get two stars. Again, that's without walls, obviously, which goes without saying. Um, and then this one right here was uh, before I had this base layout. So let's watch this one. This guy got a lot of loot from us. But however, even though he got a lot of loot, he wasn't able to get any stars from us. Uh, so we can go ahead and fast forward until he has all of his troops deployed. He just uses a whole bunch of archers. He is basically in it for my loot. He's not in it for my trophies, which I am perfectly fine with because I want the trophies. I want the trophies. Um, so he's coming in hard from the bottom. Our mortar is wrecking these archers, uh, but now he's distracted on a group of two archers instead of that massive group. And what is this mortar doing? There we go. Finally mortar. And watch, now he's going to miss. Oh, no, he got him. <laughs> but you just saw that spring trap and some of those bombs go off. So he got 42%. He's got his king over here on the side. And his king is not going to be able to finish it up for him. Uh, so there we have it. He did steal some of my dark elixir, though. Freaking jerk. We only have 940 of that. Excuse me. We only have 940 dark elixir, and I need a lot more. Let's give it... Oh, dang it. We can't remove anything right now. <laughs> Um, so what else do we want to do? Yeah, so as you can see, I moved spring traps out here. I moved some bombs out here as well. Spring traps out further. Um, just so that as the troops get closer to the town hall, that's when they start disappearing. Uh, we do have both of these bombs up here that are going to be really, really good. Uh, we could scoot them out. Like if we did this, we could bring these right in here. And that could actually make a pretty big difference. Let's do that. We'll see how that works. So we're going to put those giant bombs right there. And then let's put these spring traps right in here. Yeah. Put those spring traps right in there. And then let's actually move the archer tower in one. Just like that. Move the uh, builder's hut down. Oh, I don't have a builder's hut on the other side. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so there's that then. Uh, the top of my hair was just being cut off. I wanted to show you guys something else, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, another attack. So we had this attack. Uh, there's two attacks for us right there. We have this three-star right here for 30 trophies, guys. Uh, this was the one I was talking about just a second ago. <clears throat> very, very easy, easy three-star. Uh, my favorite thing about this base, however, is all of his trees. <laughs> because they just look, it just looks like a bunch of snow cones. It shows that he's active because he's gotten rid of all the other kinds of trees. Like, those are the only, that's the only stuff on there besides those three rocks. Uh, which is, it's just hilarious to me. <laughs> so we come in, and we just completely wreck it with barks. That's why I'm training up, uh, well, that's why I'm going to be training up a lot of barch because uh, it's super easy and it's cheap, it's efficient. But I am going to be doing some other stuff so that you guys don't get too bored. Um, and then we also have this three-star right here. 31 trophies, 9 trophies, 10 trophies, 30, 28. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm loving this. I'm having a lot of fun uh, doing this. I think it'll be interesting to see how high I can go. Um, eventually there will be some videos where it's just town hall snipes, but for a good amount. So we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope that y'all are excited for this trophy push on the Clash Without Walls account. I definitely am. Thank you once again for watching. You guys are rocking. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on from, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.